All right. Let me dial in one more time to the stream on my phone so I can hear the audio. Audio check. I don't know what that was. I am trying to monitor the audio and see if you can hear the game. I just relaunched stream. It was working. Um, let's see what happens once we, we actually get in. But we are back. And this is a 12 hour stream. We were streaming for about nine hours and we started having audio issues on the PlayStation 4. Uh, where you could still hear me through the microphone, but you couldn't hear the game at all. Um, you kind of could, but you would, like, really have to max out the volume on your speakers, and then you could hear the game. But then, of course, my voice would be, like, overwhelming. Um, so I'm not sure what was going on with that. Uh, I did try to reboot uh, the PlayStation 4 and then relaunch the game. And then it seemed like the audio was working okay, but that took us, like, 15 minutes of tinkering. And so I thought I would just end stream real quick, relaunch. And um, it sounded like the game audio was low again. Let me know on your end how it sounds. And let me know how the microphone sounds. But I'm going to wait till we get back into the game here. Okay. ideas how not to cause feedback. I have a second pair of audio buds. I keep these for my gaming chair. And I can just plug this into my phone and then I can hear the stream and you won't have to worry about squelching on your end anymore. That's not why I have these earbuds. I have these earbuds as a backup. These are my old earbuds. But I still keep them just around just in case something happens to my new earbuds. It's always good to have a backup if you can uh, if you can acquire some. Audio check. Yes, that sounds great. Audio check. I want to see how this affects it real quick. Hold on. Audio check. 
Audio check. Audio check. Audio check. Testing. I think that sounds okay. So if we have audio issues again, do let me know as soon as possible, and I will give a listen. I'm leaving my phone Probably safe to take. Uh, with the stream open. I don't see anyone about, but that's how they get you. <sighs> they sneak up on you when you're just standing there, and then wham! Bottle opener through the jugular! And Please. I will... That's how I kill you. Wait! Where's my digital? And I'll do my best to straighten it. So something else we just did is I finally took off the Digiclone. And I'm using the Mantis Cannon for the very first time. I've never used this before. Okay, that's interesting. So if I press the shoulder button and hold it, the cannon will not activate. You just have to tap it. Okay. Time to break through. I want to see if I can get used to the cannon or if, the, if going back to the Digiclone would be preferable. No, I'm good. Do we have uh, max ammo for all our guns? We do. Okay. Cannon is tapped to use. It also gets crit bonuses from your guns. Nice. Oh, I have to do this every time? So holding an Unforgiven would be a huge benefit, assuming you can aim it well enough to go for the head. Ah, oh, that's right. I don't. That's why I'm not really interested that much in, in Zane's purple skill tree, because I'm just... I'm not... I don't really do crits. Now, when I played Borderlands the pre-sequel, yes, I would go for crits with Nisha all the time. But that's because I basically spent the entire game um, just trying to learn crits... Uh, with her handguns, and so after the after playing through more of the game, you get really good at that. With uh, Borderlands 3, the entire game, I never worried about going for crits. So it'd be something like a new skill that only now I would have to start learning how to develop, and that's not really something I kind of want to do. Jeez. 
second win. Not breaking through that. Oh, and I can't use the cannon when I'm in fight for my life mode, can I? It's just like any other action skill. If you go down, if you enter fight for your life, you can't tap the cannon. Even though it's a weapon, you can't use it. You unintentionally go for crits in this game. Cannon can't be used in fight for your life, okay. Now the Digiclone, when I use the Digiclone, Digiclone gets crits all the time. But that's not me, not in this game. I do like the fact that I do feel more offensive sort of times too, because with the Digiclone, like I said, the Digiclone is good defensively. If you, like Digiclone is almost like dropping a turret. Um, it's good to fight with you or spawn it and then run into an area full of enemies, then tap to switch places with it, and then he just stays there and kills everything. But if you want to continue to just walk through an area, it's not going to work for you. Whereas with the cannon, the cannon does work for you because you can just keep, um, okay, they're gone. Um, the cannon's literally strapped to your shoulder. And uh, as you walk, the Sentinel follows you as well. So it feels like you really are a moving powerhouse. Oh, book thing, gotcha. I was like, how do I get up there? You can always have clone and cannon. No, I can't get it. Sentinel's way too overpowered. Like, I almost feel like, and I'm not, I don't want to say this really because I don't want it to happen, but I almost feel like Gearbox needs to nerf the Sentinel. Like the Sentinel is too overpowered. Like it's legitimately overpowered. Yeah, but old you, that's the thing with, oh, I miss old you, but most of the time I never go down anyway. And yeah, I have used old you and I've even used it a few times in this DLC. Uh, but that's because I was trying to get used to my new loadout. With my new loadout, uh, the biggest change, I mean, there's the shielding, that's a minor change, because now my, my recharge rate um, and recharge delay are slower, even though I have much better capacity. But the biggest change, I think, is this thing here. I took off the, the artifact that gets you 90% bonus damage. Um... But that was also giving me like plus 300 something health regen per second. And so now I have less, you know, I don't have that 300 health regen per second anymore. So, but in exchange for that, I'm getting bonuses to frozen damage. I have more cryo efficiency, so it's easier to freeze enemies. And when enemies are frozen, I get all kinds of buffs, uh, as does my, um, my Sentinel. And uh, I also get access to my action skills faster so that helps me in that regard and i think because of that uh, i can't be as as slack as relaxed as i was um since i'm using a different artifact but um i just have to i think learn how to get accustomed to this if i want to keep it this way and uh i may not need the digiclone i might just be able to stick with the cannon i would say that due to how long the Digiclone lasts, it would be nice if um, the cannon had more charges. Like, if the cannon had six charges on it instead of three, that would be much better. The fact that it only has three, that really does limit it. But I mean, with the Digiclone, when the Digiclone comes out, he has to sort of wait for a while as he's shooting an enemy to kill that enemy. Whereas with the cannon, I'm like one-shotting people with the cannon. So, I mean, that's sort of the trade-off. It doesn't last as long as Digiclone, but 
I'm guessing I deal at a, maybe about as much damage with the cannon as I do with the Digiclone. The difference is the Digiclone spreads that damage out over his entire period of time of him being out. Whereas with the cannon, it's much shorter, but the damage is condensed, it's more focused. And so maybe that's a good thing. It's more, it's more DPS. Cannon does get an augment to upcharge count to five. Does it? I went the wrong way. Nope, that was it. Okay. Um, the only uh, the only augment I saw was this one, proliferation. Oh, additional charges plus two. Zane's Mantis Shoulder Cannon gains additional charges and deals increased damage based on the number of charges. That would be great. The problem is I need to get down here. In order to get down here, I need to invest how many more points? Ten more points. I don't have ten more points. Like I said, at max, I have well, maybe two, but probably just one. Like, I would get rid of old you. Because if I'm not going to use the Digiclone anymore, then old you makes absolutely no sense. Only problem is you got to grab crap you don't like exactly. Um, it's like, what would I be willing to give up? And it's like, nothing. <laughs> I love everything. Um, the only reason I have the things here that I do is because I want to unlock Boomsday. To deal more damage with Sentinel. And when Cryo's not supported, I switch to Almighty Ordnance, and those things really help out a lot. Um, with Digiclone, I mean, I like Duct Tape Mod. I like immunity to my own guns. I could sacrifice Fractal Frags, because that doesn't make any sense either, uh, because that only involves the Digiclone. So that's two points I can get back, but I need eight more. And it's like, okay, what other eight should I should I get? And it's like, well, I really like everything else. Um, I could sacrifice Primitus, but giving up a mag size with all of my guns by 25%, that's really nice. I really don't want to do that. Um, green skill tree? This helps make them way tankier. I love having the skills. Uh, that I do invest in the green skill tree. I really don't want to touch anything here. Um, and that's it. You may need to drop the mag size. You don't shoot enough for it to matter anyways. That's true. That's true. So if I drop mag size... That would be three, four, five. I would still need five more points. I had to pump three in here to unlock this. So if I... I can dump Cool Hand. That'd give me three more points. Then I have eight. But I would lose access to Boom's Day, and I would have to go back to using Static Field. So that would be a bit tankier, because I'd get my shields back more. Um... But man, do I lose it on damage. Look at that. Static field deals 3,000 damage per second for two sec... Or, well, that's a cooldown of two seconds. Whereas, Boomsday deals 57,000 damage. Like, that is so much... I can't sacrifice that. That's way too much damage to sacrifice. I can't touch anything in the blue skill tree at all. Um, one, two, three, four, five... Mm 
No, I'm not going to be able to get proliferation. I just can't afford it. I wish I could, but I can't. Anything green tree would be willing to lose a few points on? Not a lot, mind you. Just one or two points per skill. That's true. I don't have to sacrifice an entire skill, just some of the points on a skill. Um... The only one that I don't like, and this may or may not make that much sense, is I don't like Confident Competence. I don't really like the Capstone. I mean, accuracy of 33% is nice, gun damage of 40% is nice, but like you said, I don't use my guns that much. And this only come, this only like goes into play, I think, what is it, the higher my shields are? Yeah, the more percent full your shields are, the greater the bonus. So if my shields are full, I'm not going to fire my gun anyway. I'm going to let my Sentinel do all the work. And now I'm also going to let my Shoulder Cannon do all the work, the Mantis Cannon. Um, if it gets to the point where my Sentinel isn't getting it done and I have to use my guns... By that time, I'm not going to have a shield. So confident confidence doesn't really do anything for me. So that could be another point I get back. That would make six. Now I just need four more points. Um, I'm definitely keeping calm. Cool. As far as I'm concerned, calm cool collected. This should be the capstone, not this. I understand why it is because it deals with your shield and the whole point of this uh, skill tree is the shield, but. Calm, Cool, and Collected is way stronger than Confident Comp. Like, it destroys Confident Competence. Um, just because if you're really focused around Cryo, that's, that's the skill right there. I mean, it regenerates health, it regenerates shields, it regenerates action skills. Like, it does it all. Um, refreshment is great. That's, that's more tankiness. Uh, Futility Belt, that's way more tankiness. I definitely want to keep that. Um, I really want to keep Brain Freeze. It makes it easier to... Actually, I might be able to just dump Brain Freeze. Like, I love the effect Brain Freeze has, and it works very well with the Digiclone, because, like I said, the Digiclone is all about crits. But I don't really hit that many crits when I fire from my guns, nor does Sentinel. So, Brain Freeze only works when you score a critical. So if I just dumped Brain Freeze, that's five full points back right there. That's five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I could do that. Well, no, but I'm saying I need 10 points. Like, I would need all five back. Because I need 10 points to unlock proliferation. And I can't leave here right now. <sighs> Alright. We're going to push forward. We're going to get through the rest of this area, because the rest of the map looks pretty small anyway. Um, and then once we get out of here, we'll sell the items we have on us. And then we will rebalance our character, and we'll um, we'll get those, those points we need into the skill that we need. Looks like we're about to get out of here really soon anyway. I also need to go back to Sanctuary to get rid of this other sniper rifle that I have on me. We're about to radically change our build yet again in Borderlands 3. I'm excited to try this, see how it works out. Reach Lacombius' lair. Lacombius' lair. I guess I just want you to run and jump through there, like, okay, but... Why are there no enemies in here? Why is this area empty? This looks like it would be a boss area, doesn't it? All the cans around here for enemies and all the ammo crates? You know what it might be? It might be I'm supposed to run on the bridge and then I 
as I'm jumping for it, like, the portal disappears. And then I have to fight a bunch of enemies here. That could be it. Guess I'll give it a whack. And then I'll, after all the enemies die, then the portal reforms and then I can go through into the next area. That makes sense. So there's way too many ammo chests here. Then you could say, well, maybe the ammo chests are just here to refuel, you know, your guns. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, I can go that way, huh? That must be another side quest. Oh, maybe that's what it is. Maybe when I have to come back here for a side quest and these doors are open, maybe that's when there's going to be enemies in here. Okay, okay, that's fine. <laughs> Let's go jump through the portal. And I think once we hit Sanctuary, I'm also going to redo my color scheme in my head again. I'm going to go normal Krieg. It's some kind of mental block. I think the train is trying to trap us in here. The clickers take reign over sweet meat prizes. Huh. So the Guardians are like a protection mechanism? They're going a little overboard. We are not the problem here. I'm not a tongue-tied spike licker. They're drawn to memories of Maya, so use the book to lure them out here. Um. If I were to make this switch, I would really have to get more... Way more aggressive. It seems like when the Sentinel's up, by the time I turn to try to target something, whatever is under my crosshairs is also what the Sentinel targets, and the Sentinel kills everything really quickly. You're also going to point this out now. Locomobius is a literal crazy trade. Okay. <laughs> Oh, pick up Maya's book first. Gotcha. to come out the other way. Bullets and bombs. No questions asked. Support local business. Sell to Marcus. We didn't get any quest item rewards, did we? From the bell thing? That was just a, uh... I guess not. Okay. Have some money. Now why not spend it? 
try not to sell uniques. Maybe I was wrong about this. Maybe I was wrong about wanting to do the cannon. Because even between shots, it seems like there's a slight delay, like you can't spam the cannon. The cannon doesn't seem to be doing as much damage as I thought it would. It probably does more damage than my Digiclone's gun damage. But what it does not do is it does not replicate the grenade that my Digiclone throws. I think I'm going to go back to Digiclone. Uh. Yeah. Like, I went down right there. If I had my Digiclone, I probably wouldn't have went down. I'd have just swapped places with Digiclone. I thought that just moved. It's weird. <laughs> and it could just... Ooh, I got 70 million now. It could just be me needing to get used to a new play style. That could be it. But I don't know.
Let's see how I do. It's literally just you needing to get used to another playstyle. <laughs> maybe... If... I'll try it after this, but I think maybe going into a boss fight is not the best way to try to learn a new playstyle. I think I just have to do what I'm comfortable with for the boss fight. But overall, clone would be better for you since you're used to it. The clone is nice, but it makes you lazy. Like, I'm already kind of lazy, to be honest, with the Sentinel, because it does all the work. But, like, with the Digiclone, you can be, like, Almost twice as lazy. The shattered remnants of a train station. This is definitely a metaphor, but what could it signify? It really makes you think. It does not make me think, of course, but I am assuming it does make you think. This is like... This is like Doc's train from Back to the Future, his time-traveling train. Sad creep. And clone isn't even at full power. You can still rebalance points and works to and work to double barrel skill. Orange tree capstone. That's true too. That's very true. He's not at full power. That one's pretty good. Boom Enhance is the same thing as, like, Calm, Cool, and Collected. Like, they're both, like... Like, I would have maybe put Boom Enhance as the capstone in this skill tree, just like I would put Calm, Cool, Collected as the capstone in this skill tree. Um... Because it does so many things. Your gun damage, your health, your fire rate, your reload speed, digiclone duration. What's item duping? Oh, is that... That's what it's called, item duping, is when your your clone gets a copy of your gun. You wouldn't just sack as many points to get that one? Yeah, I would just need... Well, I, I kind of would. I would need nine points. Um... But I don't think I need points in Premonitus. I can sack that, because... I think borrow time is enough to have here. So that gets me three.
I would need to keep these two because I really want commitment, which gets me a cooldown rate plus 23%. I couldn't sacrifice anything in blue skill tree. I have just enough points in blue skill tree to unlock Boomsday and Almighty Ordnance. So that would only get me three points. Item duping is different from what double barrel is. No, it's item duping. Now, in this situation, brain freeze is actually kind of good. Because, like I said, I don't hit crits. But the Digiclone hits crits like crazy. So... That makes, uh, that makes it much easier for enemies to get frozen. Um, but I mean, I'm looking at what I can sacrifice, and it's like, I don't really think I can sacrifice anything else. So, that would be five. Six, seven, eight. And maybe nine. Maybe take one out of hardy stock. I lose 10% shields. I lose 25% mag size. And I lose the ability to slow enemies on crits. For that, I would gain... Whenever Zane summons his Digiclone, it consumes up to three grenades. For every grenade consumed, the Digiclone gains increased gun damage, max health, fire rate, reload speed, and Digiclone duration. Um, I'm assuming this is a one-point skill. Item duping is using glitches or bugs to make an exact copy of the desired item. Or in the case of Borderlands 3, creating a ton of lag. But that's what the skill says, though. It says double barrel. It says next rank, gun damage plus 25%, item duping plus 100%. Let's finish this map first, and then we'll we'll look at things. We're almost done. Yeah, we just got this little side area. I'm guessing we have to go here for the side quest. And then we have probably the train battle here. Maybe some sort of reward here. And then I guess we go this way to leave the map. Don't cry on me, my shoulders are freezing! Brainstorm. Moods are like brain weather, and it's a stormy day. I'm through with this shower! Cover me up! This endless dripping's a drowning nightmare! Fetch me the steel rib skin cap! Umbrella, goddess... Wait, what did you just say? Am I learning to speak crazy? Your bitter tongue speaks from my bucket. Find Umbrella. Hmm. Does I have to... Oh, wait. That's because I didn't highlight the mission. Brainstorm. When it rains, it pours. Help Krieg weather the storm by giving him a little cover. 
Find Umbrella. Okay, there we go. I think I'm going to try your suggestion, Jamera. I'm going to rebalance and try to increase the power of the Digiclone. If I can make him stronger, just like I learned to make the, the Sentinel stronger, maybe that's the key. For me, anyway. The item duping was a bit of a poor choice of wording on Gearbox's part. But yeah, in a way, it dupes the gun in your hands for a limited time. Something just occurred to me. With... There we go. Um, while it sounds really cool... There it is. Brain Freeze doesn't really make a lot of sense. Brain Freeze does make sense, I think, for Zane if he wants the benefits from cryo, but he's using like a non-elemental handgun or a gun that has that that isn't cryo. But I always focus on using cryo. And since I always focus on using cryo, that that defeats the purpose of using brain freeze. So it's like if my if my digiclone had a copy of my cryo handgun, then that would do a lot more to freeze enemies than brain freeze would. So Umbrella. Ella, Ella. This looks kind of like the umbrella we gave to Claptrap. Bant! I'll find an umbrella for you then. Yeah, Brain Freeze is pointless for you now. Why didn't I not realize it sooner? I don't know. It never occurred. Well, I, th I think the reason it didn't occur to me is because I never thought to, um... It, ne it never occurred to me to try to balance out Digiclone to make him stronger. It wasn't until you said something, actually, that I thought to try to increase the power of Sentinel. Until you said something, Sentinel was weaker as well. So, you see, every time we have these interactions, you give me more ideas and my character gets stronger. Ta-da! Umbrella! That ought to keep the rain out of your hair. Uh, uh, head, uh, mask, whatever. Sweet sanctuary. More money. Almost 72 million now. Half of your crap is cryo. And we don't think to sack the skill that does nothing for cryo guns. <laughs>
don't like that. I don't like that. If I mess up, I see I'm gonna fall down there and it doesn't look like I can get out. I wanna go over here and raid the potty first. I think I just noticed for the first time that all the potties are made by doll. Lost their seven million. Ah, keep dying before I get tired. Honestly, I forgot what sleep even feels like. Had I not just like, actually, I don't think you can. No, I I tried that before. You can't do that. If you mess up and you walk off a platform, you can't like switch places with your digit clone so that your digit clone falls and dies and you stay safe. You have to be your feet have to be planted on the ground to switch places with your digit clone. I wish it were different. Get down before I die again. Thoughts exactly. Everything kills an enemy, he gains increased accuracy handling, critical hit damage, status effect damage, and status effect chance. No, because I don't know by how much. Tempting now. I got full ammo, right? Yeah, I do. Okay. All you need to do is not backpedal off the platform. Yeah. Ready, lady. 
cool we heart layer. Get her out of there. Free Maya. Destroy Lokomobius. Hey, there you are. Been waiting for some backup. What took you so long, big guy? You, um, you dropped your book back there. Eh, you hang on to it. I've got a feeling you might need it more than me. That thing's gonna be back any second. You ready for this? Slaking the bloodthirst for crushing and pounding! <laughs> Thought you'd say that. Let's do it. Following your lead, lass! Level 73 Locomobius. Oh, she's gonna fight with us. That's cool. I never got to fight with her in Borderlands 2, but I'm gonna get to fight with her in Borderlands 3. I think the Kriegs should have stayed. Almost down by half. Look at that! My sense was chasing around the whole the whole place. This isn't even my corrosion gun. That's our cue. Let's go. Trophy earned. Brain pain train slaying. Locomobius can be crit. It's those glowy bits underneath its cars. Oh. Oh, there's a shield there. Breakout plus Ultra. Oh, I looked at this earlier. I think I actually have a version of this. It's just not the shock version. Not another hand gets a shield. Looks like the same shield I have equipped. Maybe it's a better one. I hope so. They bulwark faulty star. It is a different one. Same faulty star though. Twenty-seven percent cryo resist. That's more than I have now. I think the one I have now is ten percent cryo resist. Um, greater capacity, seventy-two thousand rather than sixty-six thousand. Uh, better recharge rate, sixty-eight thousand instead of sixty-three thousand. Or 6,300, sorry. Um, faulty star resistant turtle. When damaged, chance to trigger an over around the attacking enemy, plus 40% capacity, minus 10% health. Oh, it's different. Instead of giving me... I'm not going to sell this one, though. Um... When shield is depleted on this one, it gives me plus 10% movement speed. Whereas the other one gives me plus 40% shield capacity, but I lose 10% of my health, which I don't have that big a problem with. I think the, the capacity might be more important. And it has the same anointment. Which is fine. You roll different modifiers on it? Yeah. Instead of delay and fleet, you rolled resistance and turtle. Oh. Resistance is what got me the extra cryo resist. The extra 14% cryo resist. Yeah, I'd rather have this one.
What's my health now, though? Do I not get to see what my health is now? 37,835. I'll keep it. Because I still have more overall health. Or not health, but a buffer. I'm losing 10% to gain... 40%. Double turtle would have been best, but single turtle is fine. Okay. Instead of delay and fleet rolled resistance turtle, which honestly isn't bad for faulty star. Alright. Oh, wait. I want to. Did I do that already? Okay, I did. I want to make sure I put a star next to it so I wouldn't accidentally sell it. Follow Maya. Oh. Where are you going? Maya, wait! Enter door. Where'd she go? The glistening spiny shell! The gauntlet. Whenever we had to defend ourselves, I always imagined she was by our side, protecting us. Pick up the gauntlet. The golden gauntlet. Hey, wait a minute. Where are you going? Don't you want to come with me? Train's leaving the station, big guy. Last chance. I remember this. Why don't you want to come with me? Buckets of chum squelched naked on the ground! I told her we had nothing to offer her. We'd been out there on our own for so long, just fighting to survive. And that's when it happened. She heard me. <sighs> There's more to life than just survival, you big dummy. Don't you have something worth fighting for? And in that moment, I realized we did. A universe of yeses! That's the spirit. Aww. A gutted fish. <sighs> you said it, man. She's the only person that ever gave me hope. She still is. I wish I could take her with me when I leave, but... Anyway, let's head back. I wonder if maybe we will take Maya out of here. I wonder if that's going to happen. Like I said, if that does happen, I mean, she probably wouldn't really be Maya. And she wouldn't have her siren powers. But, I mean, that would still be pretty cool. What's this? The last word. It was the last time he heard her voice. Krieg? I know I promised when I left Pandora that we'd see each other again. A lot's happened since then. I met this... girl. She's a real handful. Just like I was. She's headstrong, impulsive, and somehow twice as stubborn. But she's just a kid. And... She needs better guidance than I had. The reason I'm saying all this is... Yeah, I'm not sure... I'm not sure if every siren knows when they meet the person they're gonna pass their gifts to, but I did. Ava's my best shot at leaving this world a better one. Right now, I'm at the end of a thread of sirens spanning thousands of years, and I, I can feel each and every one of them still here, with me. And if that's possible, then I know that death and time can't take you and I away from each other. <laughs> I'm too stubborn for that. So if I go, just know that I'll see you in the stars, big guy. I promise. 
Aww. So it's not just that Krieg loved her, it's she actually had feelings for Krieg as well. Interesting. I thought it was a one-way thing. I never knew she liked Krieg back. And this wasn't here before. I guess this only pops up if you listen to the audio log. Oh, the ravenous skin. We already know that one. Oh, well. Thinking on it now, Double Turtle would have pushed you beyond the 100k shield mark, which is normally only doable with Moses' orange tree. Hmm. Who knows? Maybe I'll still get it. There's still some game left in this. There's still some uh, DLC left. And if not, there's always the possibility I'll get it during multiplayer. Alright, I guess that's everything here. Return to the Psychoscape. Okay. I'll head towards the blue triangle. The blue diamond. Oh, this is where I just came from. Oh, do I have to fast travel back? There's also the possibility of an unscheduled farming stream in the future. Is there? I don't know if I would do that, though. Can you get this shield from a vending machine? Or can you only get it from monster drops? Because if you can get it from a vending machine, then like, probably not vendors, oh, okay. I was gonna say if vendors, then I would just like, turn on the game and then just do other stuff in the background and then every 20 minutes like I would just check the vending machine oh that's right I have to go through the Purple portally thing. Turning to the psychoscape. And then after I get back here and I talk to the Kriegs, then we're gonna head back to Sanctuary, drop off some gear, sell some stuff, and then we're gonna rebalance our character and we're gonna change our cosmetics. Ugh. Krieg is going to be so much more powerful with my gun. It's going to be crazy. Like, this whole time, the Digiclone has been okay. I mean, he's been pretty pretty good, I would say. Pretty good on damage. But that's really because of all the buffs that he has from all the other things that I have going on with my character. That's not... Um, because of his own power. He just uses, like, an assault rifle. I think it's a doll assault rifle, and it's not elemental. So... If, uh... If he gets a copy of my gun... He's going to be much, much more powerful. out here. You can come back and talk to her whenever you want. Hello. 
I'm flattered that Creed remembers me so accurately, but I feel like I missed out on getting an evil version. You know, like, like, rah, I'm stabby Maya. I love to stab people. That's my gimmick. Stab, stab, stab. Could have been fun. Oh, that's true so far. Well, no, never mind. I was gonna say the sirens don't get an, an evil version, which they don't get an evil version here on this map, but we did find an evil Lilith, so. Locomobius is the dedicated source for the faulty star at a 1 in 10 drop rate, and you saw how fast you killed Locomobius. Yeah, but that's... I would still have to run through that whole long map to get there, and that's a long map. Like... I mean, I could just try to sprint past everyone, but... I mean, I don't know, it was a little tricky. But maybe when you go back through the whole map again, Locomobius doesn't respawn like he was doing during the first go-through. You would need to do that run once. What do you mean, just once? I would have to do it every time I would want to farm him, right? Did Krieg ever tell you how we met? He yelled the word poop at the top of his lungs, and I started shooting at him. Kismet, right? Oh man, I don't really eat anything anymore, but I used to go to this incredible noodle place on Minos Prime. Seriously, it's bucket list stuff. You gotta try it. Minos Prime. Isn't that the location of the Malawan takedown? In my studies, I found stories of sirens leaving their memories behind, imbued into objects. Could be anything, a rock, a soda can, an echo recorder. The memories were tied to emotion. The stronger the emotion, the more there was to it. I sent Krieg one last message before we went to Promethea. Since we're talking, I guess he got it. Or is Minos Prime something else? I don't remember. If you farm him, you would just spawn outside the arena after you did the run once. You would still need to do the run again once you decide to stop farming him and go elsewhere. So what would happen? I would make the run once, fight him, kill him, and then... What, after he dies, I would have to, like, go to quit game and then load back into the game and then I'd be, like, right outside the arena and then do it again? This place is intense, but I've seen my share of weird in the universe. One time, this hotel shows up on Athenas overnight, out of nowhere. Owner's super creepy, but he offers me a free suite for a night in exchange for some old books. Best sleep of my life. When I wake up, I'm on the grass in front of the monastery. Hotel's gone. Weird, huh? Sounds weird. I miss the first sanctuary. We built a family there. Just a little scrap of home flying above Pandora's horizon. Running on stale beer and dreams of saving the world. I always wondered what it was like in here. Honestly, less messy than I thought. I'm acclimating to this place. Slowly. You know how hard it is to meditate during a hamstorm? A hamstorm. Good morning, after tomorrow. <clears throat> Sorry. No idea what time it is in here. Make run. Kill Locomobius. Save. Quit. Spawn outside arena, repeat steps two through four until done. Oh, okay. Yeah, I would do that. You're right, it was pretty quick. There are actually some super great perks to whatever this is. I look like this forever. Do you have any idea how much I was spending on hair dye? Oh, her hair, is it naturally blue? I hope Ava's handling everything okay. I feel like I had to cut out so much of her training. Just because 
because there are always six doesn't mean they always stay the same. There's something different coming. Oh, what does that mean? What does that mean? Is she talking about the number of sirens in the universe? Hmm. And as a plus, Locomobius can drop the Blind Sage and the Hustler Com as well. I saw the Hustler Com earlier. I got that one. I sold it. I don't really care for it. I don't know what the Blind Sage is, though. I wonder how Axton's modeling career is going. Glad I have some company in here. Have you talked to Evil Brick? He said I was looking exorbitant. Thank you for helping Krieg so much. He means more to me than I thought anyone could. Aww. I'm flattered that Krieg remembers me so accurately, but I feel like I missed out on getting an evil version. You know, like, like, rah, I'm stabby Maya. I love to stab people. That's my gimmick. Stab, stab, stab. I don't know. It'd have been fun. Check, please. Hail and well met. The beloved monarchy of this realm requires your aid in rescuing a wayward soldier. I am picking up a distorted thought within the confines of that memory. Curious. Head back there and check it out. Ah, soon. Oh, that's cool. Now that I'm back here, whenever I walk along this, uh, this area where Maya is, roses continue to follow me. Well, that's convenient. Now whenever he wants to see Maya again, she's, like, literally right there. Alright, let me sell some stuff first. Broke 70 million again. Do I have anything else? No. Okay, nothing else in my inventory. Blind Sage was one of the guns I mentioned way back in the main chat. Oh, MC Escher area of Castle Crimson. Yeah, I remember you bringing it up. That just wasn't. I chose the Kong one. As a description I've been spoiler thinking about head. getting into dance. I hear it's a great exercise for lean muscle mass. These abs won't crunch themselves. I am the thief who steals the shadow. Talk to Sane Creek. All right, we got the gauntlet. Statue's almost complete. Then I'm gone for good. Spikes for the striker. Base gauntlet. We're almost done. We just need the mask, and we can get into Vault Hala. Where are we going next, man? Nowhere! Chaos is cancelled! What? What could you possibly be afraid of? The whiteness of his coat! Oh. Yeah. What's got his goat now? To get the mask, he says we have to go back to where it all began. Where he and I first... Got acquainted. The needle man cometh. Inhuman trials. All aboard the pain wagon. This one might be a little rough for us, but go ahead, Vault Hunter. Whenever you're ready.
All right, we're gonna wait on that one. All right. What's this? I wonder if this lights up every time you complete all the crew challenges in an area. Because I completed all the crew challenges in the first area, but I didn't try any in the second area. Maybe it creates like a portal through here that takes you someplace. Hmm. It's not, um, Mayhem level 10, but it is level 72. You won't be disappointed. Now go kill the other guys. Is it stronger than the Tig's Boom? Oh, it's way stronger than the Tig's Boom. Takes boom is garbage now. 5,628 with a spread of 9 versus 20,130 with a spread of 10. That's, that's nuts. That's crazy. <sighs> I am, I am sad to lose the cryo, I am. But, I mean, I have cold bore. So that's, that's sort of a consolation. Oh wait, no, don't unstar that. I'm, I'm still gonna keep it, I'm just... I'm not gonna sell it, I'm just gonna throw it in the safe. Alright, so now I have two fire weapons. Now Krieg's Mr. Fire and Ice. Fire Sniper, Fire Shotgun, Cryo Handgun. I still wanna go back and get my Corrosive Handgun. Alright, what is this shield about? Limit Break. It's dangerous to have a race car in the red. 20% chance to absorb bullets as ammo and increase action skill cooldown rate by 20% for several seconds. Okay, I've seen shields like that, like legendary shields, only they're better than this, but that's kind of cool that there's an epic that does the same thing. I'll hold on to it just to hold on to it. Thanks, Gearbox. You sure know how to make a gun stupidly OP. Yes. Maybe I'll get lucky one of these days and I'll find like a level 72 version mayhem level 10 inside a vending machine. That would be hilarious. But until then, I am very content with my level 72 version. Alright, I'm gonna have to buy it. More ammo now. now get out of here. That ammo will shoot itself. 73 million. Spend Guardian tokens. Let's see what we got here. Uh, 5.07. 4.37. Shield capacity. Now it's 5.07, and we just unlocked a new skin. Player skin, Hex Bolts. Hmm. All right. Let's head back to Sanctuary. We got a lot of stuff to do. I could have just kind of done everything while we were there, but I did have to drop off a sniper rifle. And the TIGS boom.
Okay. I think the Nemesis is better. I was rocking the Torg before. It's, it does more damage, and it does more damage quickly. But it's basically a shotgun in the form of a handgun. Like, you can't shoot anything far away. The Nemesis, you can. Ooh, do I want the Nemesis or the Hornet, though? Wait, that's 16,000 damage. That's 29,000 damage. The Nemesis. Um... Is there anything else that's corrosive that would work? Gargoyle? That's 9,000. That's level 59. That's 51. That's 51. 44. Are they getting weaker? 26, they are getting weaker. And then we get into submachine guns. Okay. The Venomous Nemesis. So we've been streaming another hour. Two more hours to go. Actually, like an hour and a half left to go. And we would have hit our 12 hour stream. Guns! What more could you run? Check back later for more fantastic deals. Happy to help. Did we unlock anything else? Any more vault card stuff? I don't remember. Oh. And we just got some points, so, okay, we're like halfway there. All right, first, let's straighten out our inventory. We are taking off the skin, since it's animated. I'll leave that as is. Hellwalker, that just looks so awesome, I'm keeping that as is. Um, Hydrofrost. Ew, really? I forgot it looked like this. Like all the graffiti. Well, it's COV. I guess that makes sense. But ew. I thought it looked like all blue and frosty and... Hmm. I 
That looks nice. Burnished yellow always looks nice. Homecoming. Venomous Nemesis. Check out the new skin. It's called Bolt something. There it is, Hex Bolts. Oh, so it has like Bolt symbols on it, and it's blue, black, and purple. That's not bad. It's kind of nice. Not for me, though. Now the silver blends in better. Silver and gold. Well, it's not really silver, it's white and gold. No, but it doesn't shine and glitter like he does. There it is, I just unlocked it. Ascension. Alright, 
so let's see what changes we're gonna make. Let me pull up my. build that I saved on Loot Lemon. Okay, so we need how many points again? Oh, wrong thing. We need how many to hit this? We need nine points. Okay, so what are we going to pull from? I kind of do want to keep that. I mean, the 40% damage is nice. If I can figure out how to keep it. Um, so I'm going to get 9 points from. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. I'm getting 5 points from Brain Freeze. So that's 5. So I just need four more points, and I'm done. I have to keep all those. I have to keep all those. I can only take points away from green and orange. And I need four points. You don't shoot enough for per minute to matter, so plus three. Then I would still need one more point. The easy thing to do for that last point might be like the capstone. Confident confidence. I would lose 40% gun damage, but like I said, that, that only happens or that only really matters when I have full shields. Because the lower my shields, the less gun damage, the less extra gun damage I get. And the only time I would really use gun damage or use my guns, because um, I'm, I'm assuming Yeah, I guess. I was like, I'm, I'm assuming Confident Competence also maybe works for the Digiclone. That kind of makes sense. But once I spawn the Digiclone, he starts getting hit a lot. So I don't know. I know, I think everything that affects me affects my Digiclone, so Permanentus also affects him. That matters if you actually shoot enough for Confident Competence to be worth it. But doesn't Permanentus and Confident Competence also affect the Digiclone? I feel like everything affects the Digiclone that affects me. But I guess what matters the most is the benefits that I would get versus the benefits that I would lose. So would it be worth the trade-off? I think it would. It doesn't matter. Clone has infinite ammo, so it relating doesn't matter at all. Well, I wasn't referring to... I'm referring to the gun damage, the 40% gun damage. So I would lose 40%, but I would gain 25 so I would lose 15% gun damage. But that only happens when I switch places. But it's more consistent. Because as soon as I swap places, I get 25% gun damage. It doesn't matter how much shields I have left. With Confident Competence, it's completely dependent on shields. Okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to take away un uh, Confident Competence. I'm going to take away brain freeze so that's six and then i'm going to take away i need how many i need three permanentus yeah okay 
15% less is not that big of a hit? I don't think so either. Especially when I think it's going to be offset. And by offset, I mean that, like, my Digiclone is going to go from using a generic um, doll assault rifle to my legendary handgun. So I think that's going to make up the 15% damage difference. So if nothing else, he's going to break even in terms of damage, but he's also going to gain some status effects from by just using a cryo gun. Um, also, how does that work? Do you know how that works? Like, double barrel? So, like, let's say I'm holding my cryo handgun, right? And I spawn Digiclone. That means he's going to spawn with my cryo handgun. But what if after I spawn him... I toggle to the Hellwalker shotgun, and I start running around blasting people. When I toggle to the Hellwalker shotgun, after the Digiclone is already spawned, will my Digiclone put away the handgun and pull out a copy of the Hellwalker? Or will he stay using the handgun? So, does he always have a copy of the gun that I'm currently using? Or does he only get a copy of the gun in my hand when I spawn him? It spawns an exact copy of whatever you're holding when you spawn it. It will not swap up into fire modes. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, thank you. That helps. Okay. That means, like, if I wanted to, I could kind of go crazy. Like, I could spawn him while holding my handgun, and he could go crazy and start spraying everyone, and I could toggle the shotgun and run around and start blasting, and... Okay, that works. That's cool. It's a good combo. Um, okay. Or for long range, I could put on my sniper and then spawn him, and then he could just start picking people off from a distance. That'd be hilarious. Um, okay, okay. That part about fire modes works way too well with the grease trap. Hmm. Okay, so... Everything the way we have it now, we're just not investing anything in a brain freeze, we're not getting the capstone, and we're not getting... Permanitus. Can I do that? Can I take away Permanitus? I don't think I can do that. Oh wait, yes, I, I think I can. Because all my points are getting plugged in here. Okay, so I can do that. Okay. Okay, we got this. We got this. Um. Respect. What? Dude, come on! Refund all points spent in skill tree for $7,397,907. This is a percentage of my money, isn't it? This is like what I would lose if I died. I mean, I got plenty of money, but that kind of... I mean, that, that's kind of fair, I guess, because... It, you're always able to respec your character, irrelevant of how much money you have, but... Like, dude, that's a lot of money. That's probably like 10% of my money right there. All right, all right, fine, 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 fine. Unlock action skill. Um... Digiclone. Oh, no, wait, that's one. I don't want that on one. I want Sentinel on one. Okay. And then I want Digiclone on two. There we go. And now I want... Small price to pay for reworking your setup. Yeah. Hopefully this does make us a lot stronger. Okay, so. Let's go back to the undercover skill tree and start working that first. We want to pump five points into Adrenaline. Then gains increased action skill cooldown rate. This bonus is based on the amount of shields he has. The more percent full, the greater the bonus. So... Action skill cooldown rate up to 35%. Next, three points into Hardy Stock. Zane gains increased maximum shield capacity. Max shields plus 30%. Then, we would invest here, but we're not going to do that. 
Instead, we're going to pump five points into Rise to the Occasion. Zane gains health regeneration. The lower his shield is, the higher the bonus. Health regeneration up to 5% of max health per second. Then... Uh-oh. Oh, no. By having one point invested into Brain Freeze, that allows me to unlock the rest of this. Oh, no, I need two more points. I need to invest two points into something here to unlock the rest of this. Not so hard on this, we actually forgot about point restrictions, yeah. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Um, we'll come back to this one. We'll see what we can cut out as we go through the other trees. Let's go to our purple skill tree. Okay, now what I really want from this skill tree, the only thing I really want from this skill tree, is commitment. But I need five points for commitment. So I can't cut anything at all from the purple skill tree. So... I actually probably would be smart to do it now, rather than lose another seven million dollars. So let's think about it more, before we invest points. Is there anything that you're investing into that you can afford to miss out on? Or two points in? Um, not with purple. Let's see here. Hold on. Mana, uh, we need Renegade. After scoring a critical hit, Zane regenerates health for a short time. Health regeneration up to 1.5% max health per second for 12 seconds. And then we need two more. Mana focus. Activating an action skill grants Zane increased accuracy and handling for a short time. This affects stacks. So... Accuracy plus 14%, handling plus 13.8%, for 12 seconds, stacks to 10. Um, and then commitment, kill skill. Zane gains increased gun damage and action skill cooldown rate. Gun damage plus 20%, cooldown rate plus 20%. Okay, purple's done. Sentinel. Um, the only thing I get on Sentinel is Cold Boar. Let's see, Zane gained increased weapon swap speed. The next shot fired after swapping weapons deals bonus cryo damage. Max that out. Weapon swap speed plus 43%, bonus cryo damage plus 200%. Then, drone delivery. Sentinel will occasionally drop a free grenade based on Zane's current grenade mod while attacking enemies. Cool down 15 seconds. Then, salvation. Kill skill after killing an enemy. Zane's weapons gain life steal for a few seconds. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's true. I do need to buy everything in blue. Because when I buy everything in blue, it unlocks this. Life steal 10% of damage dealt for 8 seconds. C in red. Activating an action skill automatically activates all of Zane's kill skills. Additionally, all of Zane's kill skills gain increased effect of 15%. Cool hand. Zane gains increased reload speed. Kill skill after killing an enemy. Zane's reload speed is increased for a few seconds. This effect stacks twice. Okay. And stop there. Reload speed plus 9%. After kill, 14% for 8 seconds. Blue is done. Um, also... Winter's Drone. And... Boomsday. Okay. You could probably do four on Cool Hand and Salvation. Nope. I had to invest them all just to get the, the Booms Day. Blue is non-negotiable. Purple is non-negotiable. Green is where I'm going to have to cut. And I can't cut orange. Because I need orange to work down here. That's what we're working towards. Let's start focusing on orange now. We'll figure it out as we go. No, I just unlocked it. Like, I was, as I was pumping points in a cool hand... Oh, I see what you're saying. Can you do four and four? No, I instead I did five and three. Like, I care more about the, the lifesteal than I do about the reload speed and duration. Because like you say, I don't, I don't fire my guns that much. So, if I have to fire them, it's because I'm running low on health. It's because I'm about to die. And if that's the situation, I care more about lifesteal than I do about just reload speed. So, instead of four and four, I did five and three. Um, let's start doing orange. Doubled agent. Uh, we're going to pump five into borrow time. Zane Kane's increased action skill duration for every active action skill. Action skill duration plus 30% per active action skill. Then... Duct Tape Mod. The first shot fired from Zane's gun has a chance to also fire a grenade. This skill has a short cooldown. Additionally, Zane gains immunity from his own guns and grenades. Fractal Frags. The Digiclone throws a copy of Zane's current grenade mod when it is first activated. If the Digiclone is killed, it drops a free grenade. Kill Skill. Killing an enemy while the Digiclone is active gives the clone a chance to throw a grenade. 35% chance. Um, Donnie Brook. Kill skill. Whenever Zane kills an enemy, he and his Digiclone receive increased gun damage and gain health regeneration for a few seconds. This effect stacks twice. Gun damage plus 17%. Health regen, 2.9% of missing health per second for 8 seconds. Oh, man. If I cut Premunitus, I don't have enough to unlock these skills. I need three more points just to unlock these skills. Oh, boy.
Sack Purple Tree. It's extreme. Yeah, I love Purple Tree for that 23% gun damage, 23% cooldown rate. Like, that's massive. If I have to rebalance it again and blow through another, like, $7 million, I'll do it. I have nothing else to do with the money anyway. Um, I'm going to just try to make it all the way down here, and then I'll look back at, this, at the other skills. What I should have done was I should have done this tree first because that's what we're trying to achieve and then done everything else afterwards rather than leave this for last but i have to put three points into something just to unlock these skills so i have to get permanentus then old you i need five points so that's then pocket full of grenades after killing an enemy, Zane gains grenade regeneration for a few seconds. This effect stacks twice. And I need one more point. I guess I'll do Quick Breather. Whenever Zane swaps places with his clone, his shield immediately begins recharging and restores health to his clone. Clone heal up to 50% of max health. And then I need five points for that. Boom Enhance. And then... I need four points for that. Dear gosh. How much do I need for this? Seven points. Seven. And I need four. Seven and four is 11. Oh, but that's to unlock this. I want to get some of the other effects. Let's see how this turns out. I need four more points. I actually thought this was a five-point skill. I didn't know this was a one-point skill. Um, four more, four more. What is this one like a ghost? Zane and his Digiclone gain a chance to ignore bullets. This chance is increased... For a few seconds after activating an action skill, this effect stacks. Ignore bullet chance, 5%. Uh, or Trick of the Light. Zane deals bonus cryo damage to enemies that aren't targeting him. That's if I'm active, if I'm actively killing stuff while the Digiclone is killing stuff, and that's not what I do. Though that might work, because I think that also works for my Digiclone, and I think that also works for my Sentinel. So if my Digiclone is drawing all the attention, my Sentinel's flying around, Trick of the Light might work in dealing bonus damage. You already have so much survivability already. Yeah. What I might wind up doing is cutting out Refreshment. I think Refreshment is a three-point skill. I think. Um, if so, I'll be able to get everything I need. I need four more points. 11 minus four is seven. I'll have seven points left, and I need seven to get this, which basically means... I could invest somewhat into... How do I... I need two points. I'd throw two points into Brain Freeze. And then I have five points left. I'd get Best Served Cold. I think you're right. I'm going to have to rebalance again. I'm going to have to dump purple. I don't want to, but it's like I literally can't cut anything from blue. I have to keep blue this way to gain access to Boomsday and to Almighty Ordnance.
With green, green just has way too many good survivability things, and it has good cryo damage and a lot of good synergy. Purple, I don't care about Renegade. I don't care about Mana Focus. I do really care about Commitment. And it's a kill skill, so it activates whenever I activate an action skill. So that gives everyone like plus 23% gun damage and 23% action skill cooldown rate. But that might be replaceable um, to some degree by cool, calm, and collected. Because if enemies aren't shooting me, then my cooldowns get immediately reset. So yeah. I'm going to do it again. Respect. Blow six million and a half, six and a half million dollars right there. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. It's not worth spending five points on skills you don't care about just to spend another five on an okay skill. I wouldn't say that's okay. I'd say that's a really good skill. Like, by default, you just, well, you can't see it now, but by default, you just get like, what was it? Like 24% gun damage and like 24% cooldown rate. Like that's really that's that's really what I want. Like on Krieg. Not Krieg. On Zane more than anything is increased gun damage and increased action school cooldown rate. But I guess the way you could look at it is that to get that, it would be a very expensive skill. Because this skill doesn't really cost five points. This skill costs 10 points because it costs the five points to max it out and then it costs the five points just to be able to unlock it so is that worth 10 points and if i have to think of it like that it really isn't if it was worth five points if then i would do it if this skill weren't here if it were here where deja vu is i would totally get it i would max it out but it isn't so is it worth 10 points no i don't think it's worth 10. Yeah, Commitment is really good if you actually shoot to get the most out of it. And there lies the problem, you don't shoot enough, yeah. Okay, okay. So we're cutting out the purple skill tree entirely. Alright, let's do the smart thing, and we're going to start with the orange skill tree. And then after the orange skill tree, we're going to go green, then we're going to go blue, and then I think that's it. Okay, so orange skill tree. Borrow time. Zane gains increased action skill duration for every active action skill. Action skill duration plus 30% per active action skill. And then Fractal Frags. The Digiclone throws a copy of Zane's current grenade mod. When it is first activated, if the Digiclone is killed, it drops a free grenade. Kill skill, killing an enemy while the Digiclone is active, gives the clone a chance to throw a grenade. Grenade chance 30%. And duct tape mod. First shot fire from a Zane's gun has a chance to also fire a grenade. This skill has a short cooldown. Additionally, Zane gains immunity from his own guns and grenades. Grenade chance up to 4%. Cooldown 4 seconds. Um, Donnie Brook. Kill skill. Whenever Zane kills an enemy. He and his Digiclone receive increased gun damage and gain health regeneration for a few seconds. This effect stacks twice. Gun damage plus 15%. Health regeneration, 2.5% of missing health per second for 8 seconds. Um, quick Breather, whenever Zane swaps places with his clone, which I'm actually doing more of now. Uh, his shield immediately begins recharging and restores health to his clone. And how many do we need? We need two more points to unlock this. Hermonitus, Zane, and his Digiclone gain increased magazine size. Uh, old U. Okay, yeah. I thought I just made another mistake. 
I'm like, maybe I didn't have to invest a point necessarily into Quick Breather. Maybe I could have just done Old You and Pocket Full of Grenades, but that would have only been four points and I need to spend five. So I'm going to have to go back up and invest another point to Permanitus. Okay, that's fine. Max up Permanitus. Max size plus 25%. Old You. Press L2 during Fight for Your Life. If Digit Clone is active, to destroy the clone, immediately gain a second wind with full health. Max health restored, 100% of max health. Three more points. Pocket full of grenades. Kill skill after killing an enemy. Zane gains grenade regeneration for a few seconds. This effect stacks twice. The reason why this effect is important is I've learned that whenever my Digiclone throws a grenade, he actually takes it from my reserves. Now, if I have no grenades in my reserves, then he'll basically have a free grenade to throw. But he does draw from my grenade pool uh, when he does throw a grenade. I don't think Sentinel does. I think Sentinel is just free grenades. But Digiclone does draw from my grenade reserves. And that's important because of Boom Enhance. Because if I call out my Digiclone um, when I have at least three grenades, and he absorbs and he gets all those, all those effects. So that's why... Uh, that's why... I, Pocket full of grenades is kind of important. The grenade regen. Um, so yeah. Pocket full of grenades. Kill skill after killing enemies. Zane gains grenade regeneration for a few seconds. This effect stacks twice. Okay. Grenade regeneration. 15% per second for 8 seconds. And then... 5 more points to unlock that. Boom enhance. Whenever Zane summons his Digiclone, it consumes up to three grenades. For every grenade consumed, the Digiclone gains increased gun damage of 20% per grenade, max health of plus 81% per grenade, fire rate of plus 5% per grenade, reload speed of plus 31% per grenade, and Digiclone duration of plus 25%... 20... 25... what? 25% seconds per grenade. That's a weird way to, to phrase it. Why not just 25%? Okay. So, yes. Boom Enhance. Alright, so now we gotta find something just to blow four points on to unlock this. Um, so we can do... What's the Synchronicity? Whenever one or more of Zane's action skills are active, he gains increased gun damage for each active action skill. And I could do that. He gets gun damage. What are the other options? Supersonic Man. Whenever one or more of Zane's action skills are active, he gains increased movement speed for each active action skill. No, I don't like that. I just stand around and just watch things die, so it's pointless for me. Trick of the Light. Zane deals bonus cryo damage to enemies that aren't targeting him. Like a ghost, Zane and his Digiclone gain a chance to ignore bullets. That's nice, but I, I, I really don't like when it says there's a chance for something to happen. Like, I want a guaranteed effect. Um, I want to know two things. I want to know, does Trick of the Light only work for me, or does it also affect my Digiclone and Sentinel? So, does Trick of the Light affect Sentinel? I should have probably typed in Borderlands 3. There it is. Okay. I kind of got an answer. 
It's a 15% chance at 3 out of 3 rising to 30% when you meet the extra requirement on it. I just looked up Trick of the Light on Loot Lemon. And Loot's, Loot Lemon says that um, Sentinel always deals bonus cryo damage. Because enemies don't target Sentinel. They always target the Digiclone. So the Sentinel would become even stronger from Trick of the Light. And I think I would too, personally. So that's interesting. And a basically 1 in 3 chance you just ignore a bullet with how many bullets are flying around is pretty good. Hmm. I don't really care so much about taking bullet damage, though, because Digiclone draws all the fire, and if he dies, well, then he dies. Sentinel, Sentinel is so OP anyway. Um, okay, so I'm probably going to invest the full three points in a Trick of the Light. Then the other two points that I need to invest... Oh, four points are needed. I thought it was five points. Oh, okay, four points. Um, I might... Oops. I might put into Synchronicity. For 12% extra damage. Let me look up Synchronicity on Loot Lemon. Synchronicity. It doesn't say. What was the other skill? Brain freeze. Okay. I'm gonna guess that... I'm gonna guess that with synchronicity... Synchronicity would work for both... The Sentinel and the Digiclone. Because when I use Brain Freeze, it seems to work with the Digiclone. Because the Digiclone never has a way to freeze enemies other than his grenade mod. But when I invested in Brain Freeze, he did freeze enemies. But now that kind of raises a question, like, if I pump... If 
Every point is maybe 15% damage increase. Every point is maybe 4% damage increase. So 4, 15. I'm going to get a lot more damage out of this. So let's go with Trick of the Light. And then we're going to invest one into Synchronicity. Then Double Barrel. The clone is equipped with a copy of Zane's current weapon when activated. Swapping places with the clone causes Zane and his clone to gain increased gun damage. 25%. I am giving 100%. Okay. And now let's set up I want this to be... Oh, hold on. This is... Slot 1. Nope. Slot 2. And then... Digital Distribution, Slot 1. And then... Godin Freud. Whenever the clone takes damage, Zane's shield is restored by a portion of that damage. And if Zane takes health damage while the clone is active, a portion of that damage is shared to the clone instead. Okay. So the orange skill tree is done. I have 44 points left to spend. All right. Now let's buy what I have to buy within the blue skill tree. Um, and that would be Cold Boar, Zane gains increased weapon swap speed, the next shot fired of swapping weapons deals bonus cryo damage, weapon swap speed plus 43%, bonus cryo damage plus 200%, then... Drone delivery, central location, drop a free grenade based on Zane's current grenade mod while attacking enemies. Pull down 15 seconds. Then salvation, kill skill after killing an enemy. Zane's weapons gain lifesteal for a few seconds. Lifesteal 10% of damage dealt for 8 seconds. Then C in red. Activating an action skill automatically activates all of Zane's kill skills. Additionally, all of Zane's kill skills gain increased effect of 15%. And then I need three more points to unlock that. So, cool hand. Zane gains increased reload speed. And kill skill after killing an enemy. Zane's reload speed is increased for a few seconds. This effect stacks twice. There we go. Okay. And now Winter's Drone, slot two. And then Boomsday, slot one. Okay. So now, in as far as Zane's action skills, they're both done. Blue Tree is completely done. Orange Skill Tree is completely done. I have 29 points to play with. So let's see what we can get up to. All right. With the green skill tree, I had... Let me count what I have. I'm looking at what I had. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You are right, Jamera. You were right. 29 points to grab all that you care about in green tree. I'm on, like I said, I'm on Loot Lemon, and I'm looking at, like, because you can go to, like, Loot, you, you know this. You can go to Loot Lemon, and you can, like, go to your character, and, like, it shows you all the points and all the skill trees you want to invest in. I had exactly 29 points invested in in my skill before it reset. Um, 
that means I can buy 100% of everything that I had before in the green scale tree. I can buy all of it back. Yeah. I can't get anything in the purple skill tree, but I can get everything back in the green skill tree. Okay. So... Hardy stock. Zane gains increased maximum shield capacity. Max shields plus 30%. Then adrenaline. Zane gains increased action skill cooldown rate. This bonus is based on the amount of shields he has. The more percent full, the greater the bonus. Max that. Action skill cooldown rate up to 35%. Then rise to the occasion. Zane gains health regeneration. The lower his shield is, the higher the bonus. Max that. Health regeneration up to 5% of max health per second. And then... We need two more points to unlock this further. That's why I go over here to Brain Freeze. And invest at least two points in this. Whenever Zane scores a critical hit on an enemy, there's a chance they will be slowed. This effect stacks until the target is frozen. That does still work with the Digiclone. I'm not sure how successful he's going to be with that now that he's going to use my Cryo Handgun that kind of sprays all over the place, but we'll see. I, I do believe the Digiclone has better aiming than I do, so... Um, then I have best served cold heal skill. Whenever Zane kills an enemy, they create a cryo nova, dealing damage to all nearby enemies. This skill has a short three second cooldown. We're going to max that. Damage 19,929 damage. Then we're getting palm cool collected. Whenever Zane freezes an enemy, or for that matter his Sentinel or his Digiclone, his shield instantly begins recharging. If Zane's shields are already full, he regenerates health for a few seconds. If Zane's health is already full, his action skill cooldowns and durations are immediately reset. Awesome. Uh, health regeneration up to 3% of max health per second for 3 seconds. Okay, to unlock... Let's see, what else, what else, what else? What other goodies can we get? Uh, we're also going for Futility Belt. Zane gains resistance to non-elemental damage by 20%. Kill skill, after killing an enemy, all elemental damage Zane takes is converted to non-elemental damage for 8 seconds. Okay. Then we have 7 points left. We're going with Refreshment. Whenever Zane damages a frozen enemy with his weapon, he gains some of that damage back as health. So, max that. Lifesteal, 24% of damage dealt. And then we have four points left. Confident Competence. While Zane's shields are active, he gains increased gun damage and accuracy. This bonus is based on the amount of shields he has. The more percent full, the greater the bonus. Gun damage up to 40%, accuracy up to 33%. We have three skill points left. We're putting those back into maxing out Brain Freeze. Slow chance plus 20%. All right. So all in all, we lost some accuracy. We lost some handling. Um... We lost health regen off criticals. That may actually affect the Digiclone more than me, because like I said, the Digiclone got a lot of crits. So Renegade was probably popping for Digiclone more than it was for me. And yeah, the commitment kind of sucks. But we're going to take it for a spin and see what happens. Okay. I think this is going to make us quite a bit stronger. At least I hope it will. Um, and we have half an hour left to go. In half an hour, we'll have hit our 12-hour um, stream. 
but we're probably gonna go for longer than 12 hours. I still have, well, I have some coffee left. But I definitely have a lot of energy left. Um, our inventory's clear. Our character's looking great. We have our, our signature uniform back. We got our gun skins back. We have the new uh, gun trinket we've been wanting to get for a while. We have a new speed load and Hellwalker shotgun. Hell yeah to the Hellwalker. Um, we have our better DPS Venomous Nemesis back. We have the new Bulwark Faulty Star. And we have the Icebreaker for bonus damage on frozen enemies and more cryo efficiency and action skill cooldown rate. So, all right. Oh, wait, there is one thing left that I have to do. I almost forgot about this because I want to put everything back on. I'm not going to change Krieg's stuff anymore after this. Back to advanced alien technology for his uh, his echo theme. How good do I look? Go on, don't hold back. You look fabulous. And that comes the fun part for me, finding a, a comm to buff the clone. Hmm. All right. I'm excited. I'm excited and I'm nervous at the same time to see how much better or worse that this will perform. But I think it's going to perform better. Also, I think I understand the logic now of why the Digiclone does not move, of why he's stationary. Can you imagine if you could create the Digiclone where he runs around and I just like, I put this shotgun in the Digiclone's hands and I'm just like, go, go run out into battle. I'll hang out here. Like he would just run around and just destroy everything. It's like, if he dies, I don't care. I have infinite ammo on the Hellwalker. Just go, go and kill a whole bunch of stuff. And when you, when you're done, I'll just spawn a new one and just go run. Like. That would be like the cheapest, one of the cheapest strats in all of Borderlands. But since he's, I mean, you can still kind of do that. It's just, you would have to spawn him, wait for him to kill stuff, then run into a new area and then switch places and then do it again. So, but, all right, we got that. Do I, am I full on ammo? Uh, yeah, none of that changed. That's something different, okay. Perfect. Okay. Okay, hold on. Let me also... I'm going- I'm on loot- I'm still on loot lemon. I'm going to... make the, the, the same changes on Loot Lemon and, and resave this. Okay, so I invested into Quick Breather as well. I mean, Quick Breather is good now that I'm switching places with the clone more. When things get really hectic. Or when I just have to put the the Digiclone closer to enemies to kill them. He starts regaining health and I start regaining shield, so that's nice. And then... And this is convenient that I, I actually did buy all the SDU upgrades for grenades, so now I can hold up to 13 grenades. So most likely whenever I spawn, or almost whenever I spawn the Digiclone, um... Boom Enhance is gonna activate. Uh, and that's by one, and that's by one. Wait, what else did I activate? Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. I pumped three in a trick of the light. That's interesting. So on Loot Lemon it says... Yeah. 
45% bonus cryo damage. Nice. And then I put one. Yep, into synchronicity. And then double barrel. And that's all the points. Good, 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 good. Save. Okay. My loot lemon page is updated. <sighs> there is one, the shock eater. One you've already found and denied. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like the one I have now because it's more offensive. Every time something gets frozen, it takes another element of damage. So, like, if it freezes and then it gets hit with radiation, then it dies, it explodes. It can spread the radiation or it can spread fire. It can spread shock or whatever. So, I like that. Um, back to Krieg's Mind. And we're going to go back to Sapphire's Run because that's where the side quest was. Twisted Trainway. Where beginnings and endings come together. Oh, it's probably right there. That's probably where the side quest takes place. I didn't know I missed that whole area. Wait, what's this? Scratch, don't sniff. What? Are new side quests popping up in different areas of that that we explored already? Hold on. Psychoscape, nothing new here. Castle Crimson. No, nothing new there. Sapphire's Run. Yeah. I think our side quest takes place here, but then there's also a new side quest here. All right, well, let's go back. The one you found basically lets Clone have a third augment for free. That's the one that makes it so that whenever he whenever he gets meleeed, he does like a a shock. Uh a shock nova. I am excited to see how much more buff he's going to be. And I'm excited to see him actually use my cryo handgun. There's the last of my coffee. So now whenever the energy runs out from the hype of this game and the energy from the last bit of coffee there, that's probably when we're going to call it. We only have another 23 minutes left and we would have had our full 12 hour stream. Yeah, Shock Nova on clone being hit with melee and it's dedicated is a source that's been tossed to co-op sessions. Hmm. What do you mean by that? Well, go on then. Oh. What the nature of this distorted thought might be. Okay. Let's check the map. I was right. That's it. Oh, but the other side quest is gone now. It must have been a glitch. The same thing happened in the base campaign, and then it happened again in DLC 3, uh, Bounty of Blood. Oh, I missed something over here. Oh, I know what this was. Wait, do I know what this was? 
No, I don't know what this was. What was this? What did I miss here? Hmm. I might try to go back and explore that, that little bit over there. I should have been paying more attention to the rest of the map. Ah, well. It's dedicated... ...is the Hag of Fervor. You set the Trial of Fervor aside for co-op. Oh, okay. You literally won't do Trial of Fervor solo, even though you could probably handle all the trials solo. Maybe now I could handle all the trials solo. Alright. Here we go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me read this one more time, because I'm not used to it. For every grenade consumed, the Digiclone gains increased gun damage of 20% per grenade. So that means Digiclone is going to gain plus 60% gun damage by consuming three grenades. That's a ton of extra damage. That offsets some of the stuff I lost from, from the purple skill tree. He also gains 81% health per grenade. So there's that 8 and 8, that's 160, 160... 243% extra health. That's pretty crazy. Um, he is going to gain plus 15% fire rate. He's going to gain 93% reload speed. Holy hell. And 75% duration. Wow. And then on top of the double barrel gun damage. Well, he's not going to get the gun damage unless I switch places with him. But even even just from the boom enhance, like, and the fact that he now uses my gun, the Digiclone is now on par in terms of dealing damage with the Sentinel. Oh my gosh, he's so strong now. And I still have all my fun stuff with the Sentinel. Okay. We are ready. Let's do this. I'm guessing I don't have to worry about the train hitting me anymore. Like, it only zoomed back and forth during the first playthrough. That's what I'm gonna guess. Oh! Nope, I was wrong. You know what, since I want to go through this whole map again anyway, because I want to figure out what that missing bit is all the way at the end. That's right near the exit. Let's kill the train again. Why not? Maybe we'll get lucky and get the better shield. The double turtle. what you can do. Come closer, will you? I want to think twice next time. that would be more impressive than it was. Sentinel still beats him out, but I think it's... I think that's because of the gun he's using. When he was using the doll assault rifle, I think the bullets were pretty instant. Whereas the bullets from this gun do have travel time. 
And this is a less accurate gun. Wait, where am I going again? I'm going straight. Okay. So I guess I have to start using him a little differently. Which is to say, if I'm getting attacked by psychos, like if people are coming at me, then I can use him. I can't just like, just drop him and just count on him to pick out flying enemies anymore. That that has to be almost solely for the Sentinel now because of the gun that I'm using. Or rather the gun that he's going to be using. There is another clue nearby that could help us solve the mystery of the repeating brainwave pattern. Oh. Okay. All right, go straight and to the left. Duh. Is it here? I don't remember. Not here. It's probably above me. Possible you picked the wrong button. Oh, it's frigid. It has cryo resist. He still got it. Good job. here again. That's kind of funny. They still pop up for the, the side quests, even though I've already done them. Philip saying. Oh, he died. Too late. Oh, we got one hiding over here. What's going on? Ooh. It's a crime. 
Not breaking through that. That's what you get for hitting me. even dent that thing. Time to break through. up. I may have forgotten where to go here. Is it this way? It is this way. Ah. Oh, I didn't notice that before. The drunk psycho. Are we close? Okay. Seems a lot easier getting through this the second time, doesn't it? I think before I conclude Shimon and do Malawan takedown again. This is the Guardians. Alright, how am 
much further? Here. Okay. Alright, this is when the game started to get tough. Or this DLC started to get tough. Go. Now's the time to shine, Zane. Let me. <laughs> Look at him go. That was quick. That was very, very quick. Well done, Zade. Well done. Oh, but his gun doesn't have the skin that I put on mine. I guess that doesn't carry over. He has a default skin on there. Oh, well. We cleared that out in seconds. The first time through, I actually died here. I mean, maybe that's because I was trying to rely on the Mantis Cannon and I wasn't used to it. But that was like really, really impressive how quickly they just chewed through everything. I wonder at this rate, if I could actually do the Malawan takedown um, without firing my gun. I wonder if I could pull that off. Watch your hiding. grenades do I have on me? Oh, I still have 13 to 13 grenades. Nice. Oh, that's true. That's true. It seems like in the DLCs, grenades drop a lot more often than the base game. The, the base game seems to be more gun ammo than grenades. Still a good amount of grenades, but more gun ammo. spinning around killing stuff so fast that by the time I turn around to see what he's shooting, it's already dead. Super bad A digit clone. <laughs> That's awesome. <sighs> that is so awesome. I feel so much more powerful now. I can crack it now. This was totally worth the sacrifice of the purple skill tree. It would have been nice, you know, to have that extra gun damage and that extra recharge rate, but it wasn't too necessary. Like now it's taking a while for my my action skills to recharge. But um 
I still have full grenades. But, um... Now the gate's open. Um... What was I gonna say? Oh. But... Because the Sentinel, and because the Digiclone, especially the Digiclone, are drawing attention away from me, Calm, Cool, Collected keeps going off, and I keep... It keeps, um... Resetting the cooldowns or extending the duration of the action skills, and so when I need to use them, I can keep using them, I don't have to worry. Uh, it's just after everything is dead, then it takes a little while for them to recharge. But by the time I walk to the next area where there's enemies, they've recharged. So, it's fine. The recharge doesn't matter as the cooldown is over before the next combat starts, exactly. Okay, so what are we doing? Check, please. Okay, prove yourself worthy of the king and queen's grace by undertaking this most harrowing and vital of tasks to recover the missing knight so that justice can finally be visited upon the Blackheart King by way of checkmate. Speak to King Cree. Honor bind front. Of course, Mai is the queen. Oh, I don't like this, though. Uh... We got it. I think we got it. Uh. Alas, my knight, brave Sir Thaddeus, hath disappeared upon the very hour of our mated check. But the Blackheart King must pay for his insults upon the personage of our beloved queen. I beseech thee, find our missing knight. Wheresoever went that wayward knight, Zane shall seek and scour. Am I doing this right? Nay. Indeed. I will not have my honor besmirched by a lowly creature such as he. Now, fair warrior, if thou should find our errant champion, do relay that his noble queen longs for his triumphant return. If thou wishes to hurry forth, then seeketh thou clues as to our lost soldier's whereabouts. But if thou wouldst tarry a moment and hear the tale of our kingdom's woes, then speaketh unto me. Speak to King Krieg about tail, okay? Ah, so you wish to learn more? Then <clears throat> let me begin. You don't actually have to stay for this, by the way. He does go on. This battle against the Black Hearts hath raged forever and a day, it would seem. Move and counter move, Sicilian defense and en passant. We've lost many a brave warrior upon this checkered field of battle. Indeed. But we did not start this war. Hold on. Don't the white pieces make the first move? I was thinking that. Doesn't that mean that you did start it? Ah, yes. While that is technically true, the Blackhearts really had it coming. Their banditry hath terrorized these lands since time immemorial. But the final straw, as it were, was when we received word that the foul Blackheart King said the most unkind things about our fair queen. Oh, sure. You, you gotta knock the smack talk out of his mouth for a thing like that. To be clear, he started it. So, naturally, we went to war. Uh, for the good of the people. And the lands, of course. And also because he is a bully. And bullies have no place in this world. They're mean, and nobody likes them. So we will fight them. Indeed. But just between us, I'm actually the better fighter. It's not my fault. I have bad knees. But I say this truly. I can kill any man who stands within a short distance of me. Ha! Yeah, yeah, bad knees. I get it. Anyway, I'm off to find the knight. Your efforts shall be rewarded.
That's true, the queen is the better fighter. I did not notice there was no ground there until, like, right at the end. Oh, what's this? Find clues. A half-eaten carrot? Hmm. Find brave Sir Thaddeus. Look at that! Some carrots! Carrot remnants of a certain dude! Thaddeus must wait upon the terminus of such said trail. Seek him out! What makes you say that? Why carrots? It must be the equine part of him, specifically his head. Horses love carrots. Does not everyone know that? Uh, no. Not common knowledge, far as I know. I see. Not everyone grew up in a castle, dear king. One more. Good job. <laughs> Sentinel is seek and destroy. Digiclone is stay and defend. Was this the only side quest here? The other one disappeared, right? It was a glitch. Okay, we started there. Now we're here. Then we'll be up there. Then over here. And then I want to see what... That is right there. Those little platforms. It looks like maybe there's a gun chest down here. A red gun chest, that's my guess. And then after that, we go kill the train, I think. The other part of map's probably around here somewhere. Eh, whatever. Okay. Whew. 
<laughs> and we're back up to 60 million dollars. Nice. Another 10 million. And we'll be right where we were before, uh, before we had to rebalance all our skills. Ah, he's been captured. Sir Thaddeus. Looking for a fella named Thaddeus. That you? <laughs> Sorry, didn't catch that. Ah, thou dost not hail from these lands, and must not know the Chessian tongue. Luckily, I know yours, and in this base language, I must say something of such great urgency that I cannot delay but for one more moment in relaying the content of this warning to thee, my lord. <coughs> thou must flee this place post-haste, for the dreaded rook known as Mokdan Urgash shall return ere long, seeking violence, no doubt. Tis as I feared, he comes, steal thyself. <coughs> He's hurting himself. Look at that. Go. He's already dead. Mokdan Urgosh's key, a key to free the trap for C. Oh, and I can't pick up the grenade here, so I guess that means that uh, I'm full on grenades again. Yep. Oh, it's probably not just that I'm picking up grenades that fall when I walk over them. It's probably also the grenade recharge. That's probably what's doing it. That's why I have so many grenades. That's why it seems like I never run out. It's... This thing, pocket full of grenades. After killing an enemy, Zane gains grenade regeneration for a few seconds, for eight seconds. Uh... This effect stacks twice, 17% per second for 8 seconds. And it can stack twice, so 34% for 8 seconds. 34, 3, 6, 9. Yeah, so that means... 34... I need my calculator. Seventeen, oop, seventeen times two is thirty-four times eight equals two hundred seventy-two percent. So that means when I spawn my Digiclone, once I get two kills, at the end of eight seconds, he's regenerated two grenades. And after eight seconds, if there's still any enemies left, and one more dies, then I get my third grenade back. One kill. You spec C in red? That's right, I did do that. You have a good mind for these combos, Jamera. Let's 
See in red, activating an action skill automatically activates all of Zane's kill skills. Additionally, all of Zane's kill skills gain increased effect of 15%. So... Summoning clone triggers C in red. So then that would mean... 17... Plus 15 equals 32 percent per second times two because it can stack twice that's 64 times eight seconds that's 512 percent grenade regeneration over the course of eight seconds that means i regenerate five grenades it takes me three grenades to, to summon him but i regenerate five grenades so i never run out of grenades so long as I don't actually, like, throw any myself, but I don't. But Zane does, because when he spawns, he throws a grenade, so that's four. And then... When he despawns, he throws another one, that's five. But then this is a general kill skill. And so as the Sentinel flies around and kills stuff, I also regenerate grenades. So I never run out of grenades. You're getting back way more than you put in, yeah. So, so long as there's enemies that I can kill, I'm always going to get back my grenades. If I summon him against a boss, then that's, that's the kind of a different story if there's no minions to kill. All right, free brave Sir Thaddeus. I am ever in thy debt, thou mighty slayer of rooks. Come, let us depart from this foul place at once. So how would you end up in that lockbox? Alas, the shame of capture is outweighed only by my shame at the impetus for my departure. The violence, the bloodshed, the moving in L-shaped patterns, it all got to be too much. So I deserted to follow mine heart's true desire. Dance! Come off it, you're pulling me leg. Would that I were, but alas. When Mokdan Urgash came upon me, I challenged him to a dance-off to win mine freedom. He laughed mercilessly as I expressed my innermost truth through the art of movement. Then he beat me onto the brink of sense and imprisoned me. Well, of course that didn't work. Indeed. Now I have but one choice. To throw myself upon the judgment of the king and seek his mercy. Come, tis not far now. Wait, did he go a different way? You return with our beloved Thaddeus. It warms my heart to see thy countenance again, brave Sir Knight. Wouldn't be so sure on that brave bit. Why dost thou say such a thing? Speak plainly! He's not here. He doesn't want to fight anymore. He'd rather dance up a storm. I see. I understand, Sir Thaddeus. I, too, have certain passions that I would have pursued were my life to have taken a different path. But the skirmish must continue. Thou, who hast proven thyself most brave and capable, wouldst thou take Sir Thaddeus' place upon the field of battle? Ah, sure, why not? Sir Thaddeus place on board. I 
Move to checkmate position. Oh, it tells you where the checkmate position is. Oh. I thought we'd actually have to play some chess here. Okay, whatever. That works too, I guess. Checkmate! Now, commence the attack on the Blackheart King! Level 74. I didn't think that was going to happen. You're all cheating. This isn't how chess works. What's with the rainbow glow? I've been noticing that. With some of the enemies I killed. He killed my, my Digiclone? Pay for that. Get him. Trigger fingers getting tired over here. Go on, little bud. Is one. The Blackheart King's reign of monstrous terror is no more, and also, he shall never again spew such foulness about anyone, especially me. Now come, brave warrior, address your king. Blackheart King is one of the three best sources for seven purple rarity uniques that don't have a dedicated drop source. I didn't get any of them. Oh well. Oh, now the night shows back up. I, as ruler of these lands, wish to bestow the highest honor upon thy brow. Kneel if thou wouldst receive it. Oh, he's gonna make me a knight instead. In recognition of thy deeds this day, henceforth ye shall be known as a knight of the realm. Rise now in glory. Sir Zane, I like the sound of that. Thou art always welcome in our lands. And wheresoever thy travels may lead, thou highs with the blessing of the queen. Fare thee well, brave knight. Now, as for thee, Sir Thaddeus, what am I to make of this? Please, my liege, I beg your mercy. In my chest beats the heart of an artist, not that of a fighter. Dance is my one true calling. Tis my destiny! My lord, perhaps he deserves a chance to prove himself. Hmm, I suppose I would be remiss if I didst not, at very least, witness thy talents with mine own eyes. Commence to dancing. Oh, yes, of course, my liege. <laughs> my word, never have I witnessed such elegance, such poise. It's beautiful. Sir Thaddeus, thou hast moved me. Let it be known across the lands that he who was once Sir Thaddeus shall henceforth be recognized as Dance Master Thaddeus. Gratitude, my liege. I will not fail thy name in this most vital position. Be sure that thou dost not. What did they give me? An epic what? I would guess they gave me like an epic head so I could wear a knight piece. King's Knight. Oh, it's a weapon trinket. I 
night chess piece. That's cool. Okay, let's go kill the train again. I'm not going to fight him again. I'm just going to run for the portal. stays pink now. I'm gonna have to run for it now. I think I can. Wait, maybe I can. Yeah, I can. He didn't pass the way to the Locomobius Arena. No, I want to see what this is these panels down here there's one dark one i want to see what that is and then i'll i'll go fight the train again it's still ahead of me
I was right. It is a red gun chest. was so not worth it all green stuff that's so mean that is so mean So close. portal I was up there there was no reason for me to jump down here at all now I have to get all the way back up there oh wait I, no never mind I was wrong so then wait what does the portal do then right around here yeah it was like right there and I'm like uh portal probably gets you out of there but why is it even there an ode poetry is the language of the soul uh. Some, some peace and quiet here. Since you dropped down into there. Hmm. All right, I'm, uh, now what's so important you had to wake me? I scraped my soul raw and scribbled the black scars on the pulpy page. A poem? Really? Rip open your ears for my inky river. Yeah, uh, sure. Yeah, let's hear it. But make it quick, all right? Murderous. The lady smiles and singes my salty blood. And my purple cage crushes my soul. My lungs drink fire. My heart pumps reddened mud. Her voice riddles me with all the holes. Oh. 
That that's the end. Will it splatter the pretty lady's heart? <laughs> yeah. She's gonna love it. That wasn't bad. I got excited when I saw Cryo on there. Oh no, this is what this this is what I thought. Bashing spirited infiltrator. Zane's weapon damage and movement speed are increased. The lower his shield, the greater the bonus. That I don't care about. But whenever Zane activates an action skill, he breaks his shield. Oh yeah, that's definitely not what I care about. If you're waiting for a lollipop, well, wait somewhere else. Legendary Cryo got so excited and it's like Oh well. I've got bullets with your name on them. Well made that came out wrong. Sixty-five million. Shoot more, shop markers. Train time. Infiltrating what you're hoping for on comms? Nope. It's Shockinator. It's not even Shockinator. I want the current class mod I have, but better, because mine's a low level. Mine's 65. It's the Cold Warrior. That's what I want. A song of ice and radiation and acid and lightning and fire. Whenever Zane freezes an enemy, a random status effect is applied to them instantly. And I can freeze. The Digiclone can freeze. The Sentinel can freeze, and so that's just extra damage. And um, on top of extra damage, uh, it can have splash effects, because when they go cryo, they can also go radiation, they can go incendiary, they can go shock. And so uh, this class mod has been killing people. It's been killing enemies just because of the, the additional element that activates. Shockinator buffs clone, though. True, but Cold Warrior buffs everyone. Cold Warrior buffs me, it buffs the clone, and it buffs Sentinel. So long as they free something. Oh wait. There we go. I should have used this gun instead of the cryo gun. Now he has my corrosive handgun. Got him. Ah. Another legendary. yet. Looks like a shotgun. The blind sage. Oh, but it's shock and corrosive, though. 
Mocking Blind Sage. There is more than one sort of prison. And switch between corrosive and shock element. Damaging enemies applies an echo debuff to the enemy for eight seconds. Killing an enemy affected by the echo debuff fires out a projectile at a nearby enemy. Okay, that's kind of interesting. So if you kill an enemy with a shotgun, it shoots a projectile at the next enemy. And so that basically helps you clear out a room full of enemies because you're always, as you kill enemies, it's like you have another projectile always going to another enemy. That's kind of cool. I like that. I'll save it. I won't sell it. I'm not going to use it, but it's cool. Oh, do I get to open the chests again? Ooh. I don't think I get to open the red chest again. No, I don't. I get to open the others. We did it. Three hours, 42 minutes. The 12 hour stream has succeeded. Seventy one million. Always a pleasure, Vault Hunter. Don't get shot too much now. They might look small, but they're actually just far away. Your business is always appreciated. All right. Heading back to Sanctuary, and we're going to drop off the shotgun in the safe, and then we are going to return and continue with more of the DLC.
Okay. I feel like we're almost done with this DLC. I mean, I do remember reading on the website howlongtobeat.com that this is supposed to be the shortest of all the DLCs. And I can see why, because the maps aren't that big, and it looks like once you arrive, you only have to retrieve the three keys to unlock the Vault Hala place, and then you go to Vault Hala, and then that's it. That's, that's the whole DLC. And we've already done two of the three keys. We've got one more left, and I don't know if Vault Hala is just going to be a boss fight or if it's going to be a full level or half a level in a boss fight. I don't know. So all you have left is the Benediction of Pain and Vault Hala. Yeah, we're at least halfway through the DLC. We might finish this entire DLC tonight. Place the orb. Let's read the description again. In human trials, only one key yet remains, locked behind the pain that destroyed what Krieg once was, and the loss that twisted what was left. Somewhere in this memory, there's a mask. Place orb. And Valhalla is just Psycho Reaver and a Nox Armory type loot room. So yeah, I think we are probably going to beat this tonight. I keep expecting this to be a trick. Like when I'm not expecting it, I'll just like walk over and uh, this like force field will be deactivated and I'll just die. I can see something like happening in a place like this. Where is my finale? If I ever see another train again, it'll be too soon. Yeah, you and me both. There we go. Place in the ore. Are you sure? We haven't been back since ever, actually. I didn't even know it was still here. Razors and blind spots! My kingdom for a kingdom! Ooh, the portal's blue. I've been thinking about getting into dance. I hear it's a great exercise for lean muscle mass. These abs won't crunch themselves. Mm. Beware the gaze of Lieberman. Lieberman, got you. Should beware, Lieberman. Enter memory. The benediction of pain. And like I said, I think unless I'm like super tired, at the end of this DLC, I do want to go through um, the Malawan takedown again and see if I can actually beat it with just my Digiclone and my Sentinel. Did I buy full ammo? I don't remember if I did that. If not, I'm only sure if I like a few handgun bullets. Not a big deal. Hello? Are you still there? Mm -hmm. Right here, brother. Sorry, it's weird. I can't see you anymore. It's like I'm blind here. But keep going. I'll try to help as best I can. Hmm. Alright. 
Let's see what kind of map size we're looking at. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. I'm like, that's not too big. All right, so we go up here. There's a big area here, a big area here. Both of those might be um, optional. This very narrow trail. I wonder if something's going to be chasing us along this narrow trail. We get here, fight some more baddies. This might be an optional area. Go this way. Go across here. We got a, an area there to fight. Come back. Go across. More stuff to fight. Go this way. Go through here. Here. Maybe drop down, have a boss fight. And, but it also looks like there's something way over here. Hmm. Maybe we're going to have multiple boss fights. We'll see. I wonder if we're going to have, like, a, a large, crazy doctor running after us with a scalpel or a needle or something. Like, that'll be the, the image of the doctor that operated on Krieg. Oh, that's that's a little like the device that um, Canis had on her desk that we used to start this uh, this DLC. Reload. I did not. Seventy-one million dollars. Oh, so I guess this is what happens to all the uh, the busted machines. They can't be fixed. That's sad. Point of no return? Maybe. Whew. Yep. Ooh, what's under here? Hmm. That was weird. Time to break through. So far, it's a very calm area. Ah, Hyperion. Now, that's right. Hyperion was the one to operate on Krieg. The what Umbra. Looks like some kind of nefarious Hyperion lab. And your psycho boyo is strapped down. Hyperion. That's right. I was there to do a job at the lab. But they caught me. Took me away from... A balanced breakfast trough! No, I, I... Damn it! I had it for a second, but it's gone. Hurry! I remember... being wheeled in here. Guarded by those yellow metal bastards. The doors only opened for them. Monster mashup! Yeah. Yeah, he's right. You gotta build your own bot to get the doors open. Oh, that saw just like went right into his ribcage. Gather four loader parts. Legs, arms, torso, and eye. You are well off the beaten and bloodied path, as the saying goes. 
This region of Creek's mind is shrouded in a sort of... fog? I apologize for using such an unscientific term, but I have never seen anything like this before. Let me know if you think of a more intelligent term. Hello, Fusion. Welcome back. Fusion says four hours out of your 12-hour stream, eh? Just kidding. Yeah, we did nine. I'm pretty sure you know that. And uh, we encountered some audio issues with the stream. Um, for some reason, people can hear me talking, but they couldn't hear the game at all. And so, uh, not really sure what happened there, but I... Uh, End the stream after nine hours, and I rebooted my PlayStation 4 launch stream, and we got the audio working again. So, seems to be running fine now. Uh, there was one oddity, though, that I, I don't get. And I'm not sure if it was always like this, or if something happened, maybe... I don't know. Be on alert, Vault Hunter. An opportunity to collect another brainwave sample is nearby. But, uh, in the audio options... The master volume was cranked down from 100 down to 30. And uh, that's part of why it was so hard for people to hear. So I cranked it up to 100 and then I cranked the sound effects and music from 80 back up to 90. And now it seems to be okay. You've been playing Counter-Strike. Had to take a break due to getting frustrated. Oh, I guess you were losing then. Now, if I could just spawn the Digiclone and he would just shoot all those instantly for me, this would be so much easier. But, oh well. Oh, this is low gravity. Can I jump up there? Was on a nine game win streak, then lost. Just team not playing like a team and people not having the best game sense. Gotcha. People wanting to be the hero, run off on their own, or not play objective. I have been there. I don't do a lot of multiplayer games, but I always play the objective. Leggy Larry. Well, I guess he's the first one. Let's go ahead and say hello to Larry. Larry! See you. 
Oh, okay then. Digiclone time. Well done, Zane. Anyone else? No? Oh, I still have 13 grenades. Hmm. I see you's watchful eye. It's like it's staring into your very soul. Being too aggressive when you just need to play time and hold your corners. No need to rush out for a kill when it's not needed. Yeah, if you're leading, then just sit, wait, and uh, the enemies will come to you. You'll get the kills that way. If you're playing solo, then play however you want. But if it's a team match, then, you know, try to support the team. Leggy Larry's legs. Good for standing, walking, running, stomping, you name it. Fusion, I'm excited. I think we're actually going to beat this DLC tonight, Fusion. Um, we're over halfway through with it. And that's one reason I'm excited. The other reason I'm excited is because, at least so far as I know, I have all of the cosmetics in this game that I want for my main character. So that's kind of another cool thing. But I also have just rebalanced my character to make him stronger. And so, I'm, like, psyched to use him for that. I also got a, uh, a new shotgun. Uh, a max level Hellwalker shotgun, which is one of the most... It's one of the strongest shotguns in the game. And it's one of the strongest guns in the game, period. And, um, I also got a, a better shield. Has much higher capacity than the old one. Um, and, uh, every time an enemy uh hurts me by any way uh there's a chance that a cryonova explodes around them and will damage them may freeze them and if they get frozen there's a chance that they'll get hit with another element whether it's fire or radiation or uh, electricity or whatnot so that's pretty cool and then i also rebalanced my skills um i eliminated this purple skill tree. I had mana focus, so I had a little bit extra accuracy in handling with my guns. Uh, I had renegade, so I had a little bit more health regeneration. And then I had commitment, which really hurt to get rid of, which gave me a good chunk of gun damage and cooldown rate of my action skills. And I use my action skills almost exclusively in this game. Um, that lost me, I think it was like 24% gun damage and like 24% cooldown rate on my action skills. So that's a ton. That's like a quarter gun damage and a quarter of your cooldown rate. Like that's that's a lot of stuff to lose. But I didn't care about Renegade and I didn't really care about mana focus. So it's really this one skill that I wanted and it essentially costs 10 points. Like, is it good? It's really good. Is it worth 10 points? Not unless you got 10 points just to, to waste. Um, so I took that out, and I invested that into my Digiclone to make him stronger. And so now it's like he has some extra abilities, like this one, Quick Breather. When I swap places with the Digiclone, he immediately heals by half his health, and my shields immediately start to recharge. And then I also got Pocket Full of Grenades, so every time something gets a kill, whether it's me, whether it's my Digiclone, whether it's my little Flying Sentinel, I regenerate grenades. Um, I also have Trick of the Light, so that uh, whenever something isn't targeting me, uh, I and my Sentinel get bonus Cryo damage. So we do more Ice damage, so that's great. I'm all about Ice with, uh, with Zane. I also got Boom Enhance which makes my Digiclone super buff. So whenever he spawns, 
he gains all of the, uh, the effects that you see times three, because he absorbs three grenades to do it. And uh, because of pocket full of grenades along with another ability, I always get back the grenades that I used to summon him. So he gets max effects. So he gets like, when I when I call him out, he gets like plus 60% gun damage, which is epic. And then he gets plus, what was that? 80, 6, 160, 243% max health. That's ridiculous. He gets plus 15% fire rate. He gets plus 93% reload speed. And he is able to stay alive as far as his effect lasting for an additional 75% longer, which is crazy. And uh, the last thing he gets is really, really neat. And that is he gets double barrel. So basically, he gets a copy of whatever gun I happen to be holding at the time. Uh, before I had this, he just used like a standard non-elemental assault rifle. That was, it was decent, but it was just a normal gun. It was a common gun. Uh, now, whenever I spawn him, he's holding whatever gun I happen to be holding at the time. So if I'm holding my, my cryo gun, when he spawns, he spawns with this legendary cryo gun that deals ridiculous damage. Or if I got to kill machines, then I just toggle to my corrosive handgun and uh, he spawns and he just mows stuff down with a corrosive pistol or I can even give him my, my legendary sniper rifle. I could give him my legendary shotgun. I can do whatever I want and he'll just, he'll spawn with it and just run around, kill, well he won't run around, but he'll just start blowing people up with it. It's epic. So I feel like way stronger than I used to be. It feels good. <laughs> Who's that? Standard gun loader. Oh, I guess if I wanted to, I could go back and sell my stuff. Because I can jump all the way back up there. Or Krieg. What was that? Touchy Sandy? Yo. 